Let's travel now to that very place Where the blessed child first showed his face To the light, what's happening there tonight? Who lives there now that the child's gone? Why the ones that were there on that night Filled with love, a donkey Feliz Navidad <laughs> traveling on the road to Bethlehem that night. survive the cold night air. But I thought, hey, look on the bright side. At least it isn't snowing. <laughs> the only thing that could save them now was a miracle. But where does one find a miracle on a deserted country road to Bethlehem? <laughs> yeah, baby. And that's when I came to the rescue. Oh, 
hearts the blessings of His heaven. Have a little faith. 
All right. Good. Follow me. And don't worry. We'll leave the light on for you. <laughs> oh, away in a manger, no crib for his bed. The little Lord Jesus lay down his sweet head. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay close by.
adventure. Wow, that's amazing! Yes, amazing! That anyone would actually believe in such nonsense. What are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? Huh. Imagine a donkey and a dove trying to take credit for the birth of the child. Everyone knows it was the sheep who was responsible. Oh, now you must oh, hear you people are letting it down. Oh, oh, well, you may have brought Mary and Joseph to the inn, and you, by offering that key, you may have put them in the barn, but I'm the reason that child was born inside that manger. You are? Absolutely. <laughs> You see, it was freezing when Mary and Joseph arrived. There wasn't even a small fire to keep them warm. Now, there's nothing easy about having a baby in a barn. For one thing, when your child grows up and leaves the door open, you can't say, Excuse me, were you born in a barn? <laughs> and that night the wind was howling, the air was bitterly cold, but Joseph tried to help. Here, put this around you. It's too cold. This blanket won't keep the baby warm enough. The child will be here soon, Joseph. What are we going to do? You've heard the innkeeper. There's no other place for us to go. But how can we possibly stay here? Had they gone back out into the snow, they would have surely perished. That's why I, the sheep, came over and saved Mary and the baby.
comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. So, you want to know who to thank for it happening here? That's right, me. Think about that the next time you're ordering lamb chops. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. You are the reason that the child was born in this manger. Oh, please. If I hadn't brought Mary and Joseph into the barn, it never would have happened. No, they never would have made it to Bethlehem if it wasn't for me. Well, but I like keep my heart. All fighting to take credit. Oh, great. Now we're gonna hear was a camel who saved the child. Quiet. None of you did anything by yourselves. All three of you helped. And that is why you are all three important. He's right. We shouldn't be trying to take credit like this. After all, you're important. And you're important. And me? Well, I'm the most important because oh, I brought Mary to Bethlehem. That's my point. I'm not going to back in my house. In case you didn't notice, there were others here that night who also welcomed the child. That's right. There were angels, remember? And I'm the one who spotted them. I said, hey, look. <gasps> There's an angel right above us. I'm not talking about angels. Wait a minute. Are you saying you were here too? My two brothers and I brought wise men from afar bearing gifts. Oh man, everyone was here except me. I sure wish I could have seen it. It's not so hard to see it. Just open your heart. Because every time you help someone in need, or have faith in the unexpected, or give comfort to a stranger, you are sharing the spirit of Christmas. And then, You'll see it right away. A sight so astonishing, you'll never forget it. Can you do that? Yes. Yes. Yes!